All right, hello everyone. Uh, you know, for the for the five of you that follow me, um, you know that I usually review mobile phones, cases, but you know, lately I've been watching a lot of um, food reviews, and I'm really impressed with these food reviews because it's very important to review food. I mean, we order food all the time, we eat food every day, so. I figured I'm gonna start reviewing food. So I figured what better place to start than McDonald's. There's the bag. And I'm gonna start by reviewing two McDonald's staples. Quarter pounder with cheese and a Big Mac. Do they still provide the quality that we want? So let's dig in here real quick. Cause I don't wanna, you know, linger on like some of these guys do. So. I guess maybe I'll start with the Big Mac. So there's the box. It says Big Mac on it. It's just this cardboard box. And let me go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. I haven't had one of these in years. I will add that the box has some grease on it. I'm just quite sure what that's all about. And here it is. That's the Big Mac. This is what it looks like inside. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. That's what's in this. It doesn't look that bad, but in some ways it looks disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and take a bite and tell you what I think. All right. Let me kind of pull it out of the box here. and It's a rather large sandwich. It's got three patties on it. There it is. There's the close-up of it. You can see the... Um, pickles and the lettuce dripping off. So here we go. Big Mac going in my mouth. Lettuce is falling everywhere, but let's see what it's like. One more bite here. Hmm. Okay. The Big Mac. So, the Big Mac has a lot of flavors to it, right? You're you're tasting the bun, the lettuce, um, the patties, but really, to me, what stands out with the Big Mac is that special sauce, and I'm not quite sure what's in it. Um, but if you're hungry and you want a pretty reasonably priced burger, which, by the way, both of these came to. An astonishing low, like $5.30. It's amazing. Um, the Big Mac isn't bad. Um, it still tastes pretty good. Um, you figure by now they would have mastered, you know, the Big Mac. And for the most part, they have. Um, but you know what? Not that bad, but not that good either. I have to be honest with you. I mean, it just seems that sauce dominates the sandwich. But it's still not bad. Still good. So if you're a Big Mac fan, you know, guess what? The Big Mac still is pretty good. So let's give the Quarter Pounder a shot. Here's the Quarter Pounder. Um, this is the box to the Quarter Pounder. As you can see, um, it's a Quarter Pounder box. You can't really see the top because they, I guess they're hiring here. So they really want you to apply online, but... For the quarter pounder, you can see it's a special box when you compare it to the to the Big Mac, right? It's it's just a different type of box. Um, interesting. So let's open up the quarter pounder and see what that's like. 
it's hot. So here's your quarter pounder. You can see the, um, the burger. You can see the cheese, the onions. You know, screw you, buddy. Um, let's kind of take the top off here, which I didn't do with the Big Mac, but it's kind of your standard, you know, typical quarter pounder with cheese. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So a quarter pounder going down my mouth. We'll see what this is like. You know, I have to say that of all the sandwiches at burgers or whatever you want to call them at, at McDonald's, the Quarter Pounder is the one that you know what you're getting. It's a tasty burger, right? It's got a nice combination of the burger and the bun and the ketchup and the the onions and it just tastes good and even if you had fries it probably would be better because maybe you could put the fries on the sandwich but I gotta tell you something the quarter pounder was way way better than the Big Mac and because it tastes like a burger I mean like when you eat it when you put it in your mouth and you're tasting it it really does feel pretty good in your mouth it tastes good you have to say that the quarter pounder I'm going to show it to you here. Um, with this sesame bun, you can kind of see what they do to it, right? They layer it with the, the, the meat and the pickles and all that stuff. Can you see that? It's really not that bad. I'm going to take one more bite. Yeah, my initial thought of it remains the same. If you love the Quarter Pounder and if you love the Big Mac from McDonald's, don't have any concerns. They have mastered the art of making these two sandwiches. They really have. If you like the Big Mac, go for it. I'm not a Big Mac fan. Although I have to admit that it's not bad if that's kind of the taste that you're going for. And the Quarter Pounder is great. Um, so all in all, I can report that these two premier sandwiches are still what they always were. Good fast food sandwiches. And I'm going to stick to that. So I have to rate them. And, you know, these two need to be rated very high because they're staples in the American diet, right? So I'm going to rate the Big Mac at an 8.7. And that might seem pretty high to you after what I said, but it is what it is. And its standard of quality has, has not disappeared. It is phenomenal. And the Quarter Pounder, believe it or not, I'm gonna put it at a nine. That's pretty high because it's always been a great sandwich to me with incredible taste. And, you know, it's, it's really maintained its, it, its flavor. So I hope you enjoyed these, this new food review series I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing a lot of these reviewing staples, foods that you have probably eaten many times in your life. And I'm going to test them to make sure that they're still good to order. And I'm happy to report that the Big Mac and the Quarter Pounder 
are still very, very good and a good value. Like I said, $5.30 for two sandwiches. Pretty good. All right, so this is the Tech Review Guy, or whatever my word, what name is, I don't even know. I'm trying to re-transform my channel to food reviews. So the mobile phone guy, the case guy, I've, I've turned to food reviews. Let me tell you something, folks. Don't pass up a McDonald's. Don't fear, get the Quarter Pounder, get the Big Mac. Signing off. Have a great day and Merry Christmas.